Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the 16th of July. It's Tuesday afternoon. We're running a little behind. Uh, Gabe marked a few days break here, but anyway, he's ready for the 23rd chapter of Matthew. I'm um, the 23rd chapter of Genesis. And this is the account of the death of Sarah. She lived to be 127 years old. So that means that, in all probability, Isaac was about 28 years old when she died because she was about 99 when she had Isaac. And Abraham bought a place to bury her. And at Machpelah, and he buried her in a cave there. And um, the field of Ish Ephraim was in Machpelah. And uh, so that's where he buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, in the land of Canaan. So I'll have Mark read this to you regarding the death of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Genesis chapter 2 through 23. Sarah was 103 and 7, 20 years old. These were the years of life of Sarah. And Sarah died in the Jabra, the name the same as Hebrew in the land of Canaan. Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of his, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner. What do you give me possession of burying place with you? That I may bury my dead out of my sight. The children of Hath answered Abraham, saying unto him, here is my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us, and choice for sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from me a sepulcher, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of hell, and communed with them, saying, If it be your mind, I shall bury my dead out of my sight. Hear me and treat me for the Ephraim, the son of Zoar, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he hath, which is in the end of his deal. For as much money as it is worth, he shall give it to me, possession of a burying place amongst you. Ephraim dwelt among the children of Hath, Ephraim. The Hittite answered Abraham, the audience of the children of Hath, Ephraim of all that went in at the gate of the city, saying, Burials of Sarah, nay, my Lord, hear me. The field give I, and the cave that is therein, I give it thee in the presence of the sons of my people, give I it thee, bury thy dead. Abraham bowed himself before the people of the land, he spake unto Ephraim, the audience of the people of the land, saying, If thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me, I will give thee money for the field. Take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. He from answer Abraham, saying unto him, My Lord, hearken unto me, the land is worth four hundred stakes of silver. What is that with which me and thee buried therefore thy dead? Abraham hearkened to Ephraim. Abraham weighed to Ephraim the silver, which he had named the audience of the son of the past four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephraim, which is in Machpelah, before man to the field, and the cave was with therein. All the trees that were in the field, there and all the borders round about, were made sure. And Abraham, for possession, the presence of the children of Heth, before all that went in at the gate of the city. After this, Abraham buried Sarah's wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, the same as Hebrew in the land of Canaan, and the field and the cave that is therein, were made sure. And Abraham, for possession of the burying place by the sons of Heth. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you all have a blessed day today.
very few people live to be 127 today.